All right, welcome to beautiful, sunny Seller Central. And today we're gonna to be going over how to create coupon codes for your products. So if you're running a giveaway or you wanna reward customers with a certain discount, let's do it. We're gonna go over private and public coupon codes and also one-time use coupon codes. So we got everything covered and hopefully we'll avoid any sort of pitfalls or little annoyances that you might have when you're doing this for the first time. So we're gonna start off by going to advertising and then promotions, which is where we are now. So on this screen, for this example, we're gonna create a money off coupon. So hit create. And then this whole process is broken down into three steps, conditions, scheduling, and additional options. And we'll go through those now. So step one, conditions. Now the buyer purchases at least this quantity of items one. Cool, that's perfectly fine. Purchased items. Now, you wanna tie this promotion to a particular product, right? So you're gonna hit create a new product selection. This is how Amazon's gonna know, oh, the blue shoes are tied to this $34 off promotion. So now you can identify your product using SKU, ASIN, or some other stuff, but uh, we're gonna do SKU. And the blue shoes, uh, for example, for internal reference, and uh, blue shoes giveaway, and the SKU is gonna be found in inventory, manage inventory, and then you'll see a list with your product, in this case, blue shoes, and you'll see the SKU that Amazon gave you. So you're gonna hit submit, and then once you hit submit, you'll be able to see this item, the blue shoes, under the purchased items in the drop-down menu. So select blue shoes when this comes up. The buyer gets either a certain percent off or an amount off in dollars. Uh, you can no longer do 100% off. So if you want to totally negate the price for the buyer, you can actually just pick the dollar amount that your listing is. So say for example, we're doing a blue shoes giveaway. The blue shoes cost $35, but we want to give them away for a dollar. So we're going to make the amount off $34, so they need to pay $1 to make it $35. And then this applies to purchased items, of course it does. Advanced options, um, you can choose to leave out certain items uh, in the giveaway, but it doesn't really apply most of the time. So that's it, it's done. Step two, scheduling. Now the start date is important in that you can't actually start a promotion um, until four hours has elapsed. So even if you say, uh, wanna roll back and start a promotion five minutes from now, it won't let you. You need to start a promotion at least four hours ahead. So make sure you give yourself a window of time in which you're creating this promotion. You actually can't create a promo code and then use it instantaneously. You need to wait four hours. So the end date as well as uh, at your discretion an internal description. So if we're selling blue shoes, this will be blue shoes giveaway or something, something poetic. Tracking ID can be as is. So we're almost finished. We're here at step three now. This seems like an unassuming section, but it is actually the most important out of all of them. So I'm glad you're watching up until this point. Claim code. We're going to check this box. because otherwise, without it, you won't actually have a claim code. Um, without this box checked, anyone will be able to access your item for a dollar without receiving a special code. One redemption for customer. Amazon can suggest a claim code for you, or you can write your own. The only conditions are that it's letters and numbers, alphanumeric and nothing else, no punctuation or anything and it must be eight characters long, and you can't reuse the same claim code once you've used it for a single promotion, which makes sense. When Amazon's suggesting you a claim code, I would just say maybe avoid O's and zeros as they get kind of visually confusing, but that's just a personal preference. So claim code combinability, exclusive. Customized messaging, so this is crucial. This is what the buyer sees when the promotion is applied. And you're going to want to uncheck this box or else the text will be displayed on your listing that, oh, you can get this product, uh, you know, for whatever for this <laughs> using this code. 
uh, for this amount off. So you don't want it to be publicized. If you are running a giveaway, you want to be in control of who receives the code, so uncheck the box. Now, terms and conditions are standardized, and this appears in any code that you set up, so it's good to go. And hit review. Upon hitting review, you will be able to review all this information, and if it looks good, submit it. Now, the question is, we have this coupon code, but what if somebody who is up to no good just publicized this coupon code so that anyone could take advantage of your promotion, even if they weren't a product reviewer or the target of your promotion? What then? Well, there's actually a way to work around this, and that is the single-use coupon code, so we're going to get into that now. So we're going to go to Advertising, once again, and we're going to go to Promotions. Now we're going to create a promotion that has a code that is unique to every single person who claims it. We're here in promotions. We're going to go to manage your promotions. And here you'll see a list of all of the promotions that you've done in the past, if you've done any. And uh, you'll also notice that the one that we've just made is not going to be there. Why is that? Well, it says promotion status active. We're going to want to see our pending promotions so that we can see the one that we just made because the four hours have not elapsed yet so it'll still be pending and not active so once you've found the promotion that uh, you're looking to manage click on the tracking ID and from there you're gonna hit manage claim codes this is where we create all the individual claim codes so uh, let's say 150 I like it cool and the group name. So we were giving away blue shoes, so this would be blue shoes, honest few promotion, or something like that. And uh, you'll hit create. And when you hit create, you'll have access to a Excel download, which will give you 150 unique coupon codes uh, that you're able to use so that no one can disperse just one master code. Every code is different and will only work once. Well, thanks for going on this claim code journey with us. That was a lot of fun going through it step by step. And today we learned how to create a public coupon code, a private one, and even a one-time use coupon code. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, you can feel free to let us know. Uh, leave a comment or visit us over at honestview.com. We help sellers succeed on Amazon through a big burst of sales and reviews, and your first promotion is free. So thanks so much for checking that out, and we'll see you around. Thanks.